Howdy folks, this is your friend Fishing with Dom, and after recent technical difficulties, I was unable to bring you last week's installment of the Friday Fishing Tip, so here I am to retry and re-upload this whole shindig to show you something I just started getting onto. This is a homemade catfish bait recipe that I once would have thought is totally bogus, totally wouldn't work, but I gave this a shot, and this really does catch giant channel catfish and even flatheads in some part of the country. Let me show you the ingredients for what I have so far. I'm going to make this a quick and easy video. You can make approximately 50 pieces of bait for under $2. I'm not even kidding, and you can mix and match. Best part about this, no wrong way to do it. I'm going to show you what we need first. You need hot dogs. These are generic bar S hot dogs. I picked these up at Walmart for a dollar. A dollar you get 12 hot dogs in here. I took three of them out of the package and cut them up into one inch chunks. So that way I've got about 21 pieces right here. And the next step, you use whatever flavor you want, you get Kool-Aid packets. I like the Tropical Punch. The grape works very well. So does cherry. If you don't have Kool-Aid available or if you want to play with something later on, uh, Box Jello works very well too. I caught some big fish on the strawberry and the grape flavor last week. I haven't played with it too much, but I know this does catch fish as well. But we were out on the Saginaw River last night. We caught a few very large channel catfish just on the hot dogs soaked in Kool Aid. I didn't have any cut bait. The night crawlers really weren't doing it, and we played a bit with different stink baits. But this is the bee's knees. I'll tell you what, and it's easy. It's very cheap. It stays on the hook. The only con to it, it's a little dirty, so I recommend getting a food handling glove or a, a plastic bag to put around your hand when you're baiting your hook, just so your hands don't get all dyed. So all you'll do is open your bag, and you, you're going to take your hot dog chunks that you already have diced up, and you're just going to put them right in that bag. Come on now. There we go. Halfway done. There they are. We've got all the hot dogs in the bag. Let's separate them around a little bit. They're sitting just like that. Now, Tropical Punch has been my best flavor in the since I started doing this. Grape works very well, too, as I've said before. You just take two packets for about every three hot dogs. And you open the packets. And then you open them both up and just pour them, pour them into the bag. Just like this. Now these Kool-Aid packets are found just about anywhere. Uh, very, very cheap. They're about a quarter a piece. You know, with the hot dogs, it's $1.50 for a lot of bait. You zip this up. Make sure it's nice and tight because if these come out, it can be really messy. Trust me. I always fold that over. And I'll sh pardon me. I'll shake them up. Get these hot dogs nice and coated. And as far as prep time goes between when you make this and when you fish with them, Try to give it at least an hour. Uh, that's relatively very soon compared to a lot of prepared baits that some catfish anglers use. But you just shake the bag around like that. Make sure those hot dogs are nice and coated with that powder. They're going to look a little dirty, a little bit red, just like this. We're going to come back in an hour, and we're going to see where they are from there. And hopefully you'll be surprised, as I was. All right. Just like that, they're all shaken up. Let's just wait. Alrighty, it's been a little over an hour. We're gonna come back, see how our Kool-Aid and hot dog bait is looking. Now, compared to before, there's a lot more liquid pooled up inside the bag. You know why? That is because the properties of the Kool-Aid suck the moisture out of the hot dog, so it pretty much marinates in its own juices all day. Uh, Pros, it stays on the hook. It's relatively easy and cheap to make, even on the riverbank. All you need is a knife, some hot dogs, a Kool-Aid, and a bag. Uh, the con, it's kind of dirty. Definitely kind of dirty. Let me pull one out of the, here for you, just so we can get a good look at it. Shake it off. Just a nice little piece of hot dog. Got this nice, firm red dye on it. it smells really sweet, too. This is the fruit punch flavor. I'm actually going to go try it tonight. Wish me luck. If you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know. Other than that, thank you for watching Fishing with Dom. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.